Socket fusion is a simple process of melting and fusing components together, resulting in a clean, homogeneous joint. As no outside compounds are introduced into the process, sources of material contamination are eliminated. Socket fusion is the joining method of choice for a variety of high purity applications. IPEX's handheld socket fusion tool is available on its own or as a kit, complete with a full set of heater bushings and the appropriate mounting hardware. Before beginning, gather the proper materials for the job. It is strongly recommended that your local IPEX representative demonstrate the socket fusion procedure before you attempt to assemble the NPURE system. Select the bushings of the required diameter, then insert and secure the bushings to the heating tool using the hardware supplied in the kit. Handle the heater bushings carefully. Damage to the Teflon coating can result in irregular heating, joint contamination, and result in poor fusion. Carefully clean the Teflon coated contact surfaces of the heater bushings using a clean, dry, lint-free cloth. Set the temperature of the heating tool between 480 Fahrenheit or 250 degrees Celsius and 520 degrees Fahrenheit or 270 degrees Celsius. Plug the tool into a dedicated and grounded 110 volt outlet ensuring that the outlet is protected by circuit breakers or fuses. Cut the pipe squarely using a suitable pipe cutter. A square cut provides the surface of the pipe with the maximum fusion area. Chamfer the newly square cut edge at an angle of 15 degrees. Dry fit the pipe and fittings before fusing them together to ensure an interference fit. Do not install pipe and fittings that fit too loosely or too tightly together. Clean the pipe and fitting of any traces of oil or grease on the fusion surfaces with an approved cleaning agent such as isopropyl alcohol. Be careful not to touch the fusion surfaces as this can cause joint contamination and result in poor fusion. The length of pipe to be inserted varies by the pipe diameter. For the correct length of insertion, refer to the table found in the NPURE technical manual. Once selected, mark the pipe at the correct insertion length. Mark a longitudinal reference line on the outside of the pipe and the fitting to show a guideline to prevent the two parts from rotating while the joint is being assembled. Check that the thermostat green light on the heating tool is on steady, or if external conditions require the use of a temple stick, use the correct temple stick to check the temperature of the heater bushings. Do not use the temple stick on the parts of the bushings that will come in contact with the pipe or fitting. If fusing a joint in cold weather, double check the thermostat reading with the temple stick. Should the temple stick indicate an insufficient heating tool temperature, increase the thermostat setting by small increments until the temple stick deposit on the tool evaporates. After any changes to the temperature dial, the red light will come on. Wait for the green indicator light before using the temple stick. Alternatively, a digital infrared temperature reader can be used to verify the temperature of the heater bushings. Overheating or underheating of the pipe and fittings may result in poor fusion. Simultaneously engage both the pipe and the fitting with their respective bushing to determine interference. If substantially more resistance is offered by either the pipe or the fitting, begin your insertion with just that one item. Start the insertion of the second item once the first has reached the bushing half point. If the same resistance is observed, start both the pipe and fitting insertion simultaneously. Once the mark on the pipe reaches the end of the female bushing and the top of the fitting reaches the stop on the male bushing, apply just enough pressure to prevent kickback and hold together for the recommended heating times shown in the table found in the NPURE technical manual. The heating time starts from the moment of full insertion of both the pipe and fitting. If the pipe and fitting do not fit tightly on the heater bushings, the heating time should start when the components have swelled just enough to contact the surface of the heater bushings. While the pipe and fitting are on the heater bushings, a bead should start to form. Once the recommended heating time has elapsed, quickly remove the pipe and fitting from the heater bushings. The heated surfaces of the pipe and fitting should appear glassy, which indicates a proper melt. Immediately fit the pipe into the fitting socket up to the previously marked insertion length. Do not turn the pipe in the fitting socket. This process must be achieved in the welding time given in the table found in the NPURE technical manual. Ensure the longitudinal reference lines of the pipe and fitting are perfectly aligned. If large amounts of material are left on the heater bushings, this suggests that the procedure has not been carried out correctly or the heating tool temperature is incorrect. Hold the joint together for the welding time specified in the table found in the NPURE technical manual. This will allow sufficient time for the pipe and fitting to fuse together. If the fusion process was performed correctly, a uniform bead should be visible on the outside of the joint, and a smaller uniform bead should be visible on the inside of the joint. A non-existent, uneven, or excessive bead suggests that the procedure has not been carried out correctly. Leave the joint to cool at ambient temperature for the recommended minimum cooling time as shown in the table in the NPURE technical manual. 
Allow for proper cooling before pressurizing and testing the system. Never dip the joint into water or expose it to a forced airstream in order to cool it quickly as this may result in weak joints. Clean the heater bushings by wiping them off with a clean, dry, lint-free cloth after each joint is fused. There should not be large amounts of material left on the heater bushings if the fusion is done properly. Refer to the NPure technical manual for instructions on using the handheld socket fusion tool. For additional information, visit us online at ipexna.com.